Great, good to get back into it, mate. Yeah, it is. Yeah, our first sort of decent hit out, all of us in together. So, you know, the first of four years have been training really well and setting a good high standard. And you know, a couple of other guys came over to Utah a little bit early. So, the first time we've had the whole squad together and they train well. What are your expectations from the boys in the camp? Oh, we've just got to continue to build on what we've been doing over here for the last four years. And, um, you know, we, we really want to develop an elite lifestyle and it's a unique opportunity to get the boys together for, for this long and to get them to live that, that lifestyle we want them to adopt full time. So it's a continual educational process and, you know, we're not delusional. You know, a lot of these young players, they come in straight out of school, first time they've moved out of home. So, you know, we take that, that educational role as coaches really seriously. The bonding side is obviously really important among the boys as well. Yeah, it is, and you know, I think there's a really strong bond and morale um, within the group and a steely resolve, but you know, we've just got to put the hard work in now, and that's what we, we know. We've got 28 days till our Christmas break, so you know, it comes around really quickly, uh, 107 days till we play Essendon in round one. Oh, so hard. I can't breathe. Robbie Nahas, we've got a cross, obviously really keen to get him in. Yeah, look, uh, I've been really impressed with, with Robin over the years. I think he's a really one of the more dangerous small forwards in the competition. And, you know, he's got a lot of hard work ahead of him. He knows that. And he's got to push his way into our best side. And, you know, the challenge is there for him. So uh, there is an opportunity there for him if he can take it. So it's a big challenge and one I'm sure he's up to. Nick Del Santo looks like he's really fitted in well. Oh, well, I think he's, he's showed today just what a class actor he is on the track. And, you know, beautiful ball user, great decision maker. And... You know, a terrific guy too. The guys have warmed to him, you know, um, really quickly. And I'm sure after three weeks here, living at high altitude with all the boys, he'll come back and feel like he's been a North player for six months. See him as a midfielder or a defender? You're not sure yet. No, I, I see him as, as anywhere we want to put him. I mean, I think he can play forward, back, mid. Um, you know, he's just a class act and he can play anywhere. So, um, you know, I think we've got some options now. And, you know, we look at the end of the year and Ben Jacobs pushing into the midfield and Luke McDonald will push into the to the, probably the, the midfield defence type area. So, you know, there are a lot of players who are now putting their hand up and deserve to be picked in our best side. Some of those emerging young guys, Sam Gibson, Jamie McMillan, getting in front of the group. How important is that? Yeah, we've worked really hard on our emerging leaders program. And, you know, we, we've, as a club, I think we've relied on Brent Harvey and Drew Petrie and, and Daniel Wells, Andrew Swallow now our captain. We've relied on too few for too long. So we've really got to develop that, that group from underneath and we've been working really hard on that for the last four years and the guys are coming along really well. Also got Lee Tudor, Ben Dye, Gavin Brown on board. Lee in particular, the defensive side of the game, how important is that going to be? Yeah, it's going to be really important. I mean, Josh Drummond will take control of, of most of that. Um, you know, Lee Tudor brings a wealth of experience from other clubs and um, will bring some new ideas, which we need. You know, we, as a coaching group, we need to, to really challenge each other and, and um, you know, I've given the, the guys a, a, a big responsibility to take control of their areas, but, you know, we need to challenge each other all the time and, and Lee coming from different environments will be able to do that. So, um, Gavin Brown and Ben Dyer as well. So, you know, the... We've got great resources for our players now and now the, it's time for the hard work to start.